Hi, this short video is going to be on condensation polymers. So we've seen polymers already in the first year of the course. Now I'm going to look at condensation polymers and two specific examples. The first one we're going to look at is polyesters. Now these form much like esters. So we'll get a polyester all based around this functional group in this bond here, which is our ester bond. So, one of the things you've got to be able to remember is what two uh, things come together to form an ester bond. And you should be shouting out to me a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. I'm going to see an example of that now. So let's take a capsulic acid. I'm going to take a very simple one. I'm just going to go for this, which is ethanoic acid. Two carbons, so F with the functional group of anoic acid. And I'm going to react that with a similarly simple alcohol. So that is ethanol. Now, we see up here we've got our, our dash and our R. This bit here is going to become our R dash. And this bit here is going to become our R. So we get, that's a product here, we need an acid catalyst. Our ester, in this case this is ethyl. And if I got that FNO8, and we also get water, and this is why we call it condensation. So we get water given off. Now here, we've got a carboxylic acid alcohol forming an ester, and that's it. We couldn't react this anymore. We couldn't join anything more onto this with this type of reaction. So that's where this stops. But let's imagine now. Rub this out for a bit. Let's get a board rubber. I'm going to change the structures I was reacting at the start. And this time I'm going to put in a dioic acid. So this is propendioic acid. It's got a carboxylic acid group at either side. And I'm going to react that with a dial. This is ethan dial, or 1,2 ethan dial. I need to say 1,2 because they're on different carbons. So we've got OH groups on either side of here, carboxylic acid set. So they will form our first ester, just like the uh, ester before. really give myself enough space there. They will form this ester. But, assume we've got enough of them, we'll have more of these molecules around and more of these molecules around. And they can then continue to react and can join onto this side and onto this side until we get a long, long repeating chain of these two units. And that will look, draw it shorthand, the repeating unit. look like this, where we've got our uh, dioic acid on this side, then our alcohol group dial has gone there, then we can get another dioic acid here, another alcohol after that, another alcohol after that. I always like to put it in brackets with an N. Each time they combine, they'll give off water, which is where we get condensation from, this idea that water has been given off, so known as condensation. So we, this is how we form polyesters. And we can form if we've got a dioic acid or a diol. Or, sorry, a dioic acid reacting with a diol will form esters. Now there are polyesters. There is another way we could form polyesters, and that's with a single repeating unit.
And that is if a single repeating unit carboxylic acid up this side and that side we have an alcohol so it can have it between itself and if this reacts with the same molecule within it then we'll get the same thing happen again I'm going to draw the product down here get our carboxylic acid into an ester into another ester bond, ester bond, so our repeating unit in this case will look like this so this time it's a molecule that's got both a carboxylic side and an alcohol side can join together it doesn't have to have two carboxylic acid groups, two alcohol groups if it's got both of them on it we can turn it into a condensation polymer so we get enough water by reacting it with itself. The other type of polymer we need to look at is polyamides. Now polyamides, they all go around similar bond. Looks like that. So we've got our polyamide and then this continues round. And on and on and on and on and on combining so this forms between the carboxylic acid again there's my ethanoic acid and this time it's going to react with an amine and what I need to do keep on forgetting I can leave the hydrants on there we're going to put carboxylic acids on both sides and then reacting with a compound with amines on both sides so this will form put the repeat unit in an ester sorry not an ester, an amide did not give myself enough space just missing out there but that will repeat again and again and again and again because we get the polyamide bond forming between this carboxylic side and this amine and they go I'll just draw it down here the repeat unit they form when they come together you lose the OH and a hydrogen to form H2O which leaves you with the NH remaining here which goes you can see there and that joins with that carbonyl bond there to form our amide now that other way we can form polyamides just like we saw last time is if we get a compound we'll do this one with both a carboxylic side and uh, an amine side and this might look familiar to you this is an amino acid amine acid we saw these and they will react with themselves let's do a different one so we can get two amino acids or the same amino acid reacting with itself and they will form this long polyamide chain where you have just gonna get it in there this two monomers coming together again and again and again in a long nice chain and they're gonna give off water as well so that uh, those are the two types of polymer I'm looking for and they form in condensation reactions to so get water given off but they can form either way you've got a dioc acid and a diamine or a diol or they can have it where they've got a carboxylic acid and an amine or an alcohol 
and a carboxylic acid and maybe an alcohol and another group and they will form long long chains as well there's some questions below to try from past papers give them a go